This is game two, it's Beagles versus Sassy Red. Uh, the first game, that, that first game, man, that stressed me right out. Uh, Beagles are a turn player in the bottom left, uh, loves a ghost, loves a nuke, um, and was lining up for a nuke drop in the last game, which could have been devastating, could have been game changing. Uh, didn't pan out for him as Icy Red had his own ideas. And in fact, um, sort of went for a proxy stargate with a shaded battery void rays uh, that worked out very well for him. Uh, and unfortunately, you know, timing wise, managed to uh, focus on the medevac containing the uh, ghost uh, for Biggles. So, um, you know, things certainly could have went differently. It's gas first from Biggles, and I can't help but feel that that means he has got a very specific build in mind. Uh, gas finishing up for our Protoss player. Uh, single gas for Protoss is less meaningful, to be honest. Um, doesn't necessarily mean anything. Um, gas first for Terran is uh, generally, if you know, this needs to be saturated. There, there aren't workers going into it, and there aren't workers in production. What? Ooh, I don't know. I'm not sure about this. Um, I think Biggles may be a bit thrown by that last game. Maybe he's forgotten to transfer these workers. Uh, and that's a real shame because if he does have a specific build in mind that needs that early gas, uh, we're not going to see it um, because the gas is going to be delayed. So uh, not up to two workers, but still not saturated. So I'm not sure. Maybe he didn't really need early gas after all. Um, on the other side of the map, uh, the side core coming down, there's no proxy pile on this time, so I don't think there's gonna be anything funky, anything too bizarre, um, but you never know, this is the EMS tournament after all. Um, it's just gonna go for an expo, and that's absolutely fine. I would imagine uh, this money that Biggles is floating on the other side of the map, um, once this tips to 400, we're gonna see a worker dispatched to build his command center too. And we do, so all is well in the land of StarCraft. Um, yeah, wall coming down at the front for IC Red and everything looking nice and straight up. Uh, the tech lab's finished. I hope we'll see combat shield starting shortly. There's no orbital command here for Biggles and, and uh, really you want, to, you want to get that orbital as soon as you can. Um, looks like this time it's going to be uh, Robo from our Protoss player. So the robotics uh, facility, you know, you can get mortals out of that. You can get disruptors that we haven't seen any of really. Um, and Colossus you can get as well. So uh, plenty of choices available to you, um, you know, using the robo. Uh, yeah, no sign of a tech path really from Biggles just yet. Uh, the factory coming down, so 211 looks likely, um, but you know, 211 is, is a kind of non committal, general purpose, effective Terran opening, and there's nothing wrong with that at all. Uh, you get two barracks, one factory, one Stargate, uh, and you crank out sort of Marine, Marauder, Tank, Medevac, uh, and that's a good all purpose combination. Uh, and then, depending on what you see your opponent do, you can kind of uh, choose to throw down more barracks uh, and more starports, or you can choose to, to go into a mech transition, uh, lift the barracks off the tech labs, drop factories onto them, uh, and transition into you know maybe tank Thor or whatever you like. So um, it looks like this uh, observer is going to come across the map and see good stuff. Um, We've got our Protoss player, I see Red, uh, committing hard to the Robo play with, with the robotics um, support bay uh, in production at present. And that will allow him to build Colossus and get some uh, upgrades and stuff like that. And there is a second Robo so you can build stuff two at a time. So I'll keep an eye on the production tab. We'll see what we see uh, in that regard. Um, meanwhile, the starport is, uh, building here for Biggles and I like it. Uh, there's blue flame being researched. Um, there's no Hellions actually in production though, so, which is, so there's a kind of a slight contradiction here. Um, not sure about that. Uh, if we look from Biggles point of view, hopefully, you know, if you see that little shimmer, you've just got to drop the scan right now and that dies instantly. Um, but it doesn't look like he has seen it. So 
I, I see red gets just an, an excellent scout here, sees absolutely everything. Um, uh, and even parked here, we'll just get to see the position of the army, get to notice when that moves out, because uh, it'll show up on his mini map and stuff. So that's extremely useful. A uh, bit of a supply block. I, you know, there's a siege tank building, but why aren't you building Hellions? You're researching Blue Flem. Um, you know, I want to see Hellions or Hellbats or, or whatever. Um, Hellion Blue Flem drop is fantastic. You know, if you drop a couple of Hellbats in here with Blue Flem, you'd be amazed at how quickly they can just decimate uh, a mineral line or four Blue Flem, Flem Hellions is similarly effective. So I'm a little confused uh, by what I'm seeing. I'm also, uh, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, there's Vikings coming out, and is this, does he, oh, he did just drop a scan, didn't he? He did drop a scan, to be fair, um, so, Additional supply depots yeah, hmm, where was the scan? Because he didn't see any of that stuff, so, well, the scan must have been here, um, but he, it's not like he's seen anything to suggest Colossus based on the men so um, you know maybe the Vikings maybe he just has a hunch that there's going to be Colossus um, and so he's making sure he's got enough Vikings up and that's not bad but you also need medevac so you know needs at the very least a second starport here um, yeah so uh, setting up defensively um, and that's okay uh, I would very much like to see this be an orbital. I would very much like to see some better saturation here. Um, yeah, come on, Biggles, you've got this. Uh, Stim being researched, um, and you, you know, you can see he's busy in the production tab. He's got the army advantage. The, uh, the workers are close enough that with mules, um, income is very very similar if, if anything possibly i had for the turn uh this third for the protoss I, I don't really know why you're building it over here I, I just i don't see an advantage you know it's not really a ninja um if a medevac drop comes around this edge of the map it flies right over it it's not really hidden it's just awkward for you to get to uh another robo coming down four more gateways coming down so um, Protoss are looking to really ramp up their production and that is fine. Um, the extended sort of thermal lens for the Colossus is being researched and that's going to give that Colossus that the almighty range. Uh, yeah, Biggles at this stage you need to have two SCVs just constantly building um, supply depots to avoid those supply blocks. That's just how it is. Um, yeah, so setting up reasonably defensively, a bunch of marines at the front, we've got the uh, bunker, we've got the siege tanks parked behind it, um, wouldn't be easy to push into this zone, but with Colossus, you know, the marines die very quickly, um, the Viking numbers are getting there, but they're not really up to the sort of one shot in Colossus numbers just yet um, and as Biggles income is increasing with the uh, two best setup he is going to need to to sort of increase his production here um, yeah I see Rad has another good look around and sees everything you know this observer man is uh, is so far MVP to be honest um, there's another observer here which is nicely positioned uh, if you are going to park observers about like that it's best to put them onto whatever it's called sentry mode or something uh, it extends their vision but they can't move um, in that mode uh, which actually can be a bonus because it means if you F2, if you spam your grab the whole army, you don't accidentally grab your observers and drag them about the place. Uh, so that can be a real win. Um, this Rax, I'm not sure, is on the right hotkey because it appears to be idle. Uh, so Biggles, you need to just add that barracks to your hotkey. Um, upgrades are coming in. If we have a peek, uh, we can see that blue flame with, <laughs> was done ages ago, but there are no uh, Hellions and still no sign of making any, so I don't know about that. Combat Shield, Stim, and Concussive Shell all done. Thermal Lance for the Protoss is done. Um, and that's where it ends. We've got plus one armor for the Protoss uh, being researched at present as well. So, why isn't this base taken? I'm not sure. Uh, Terran is going to take this one, and actually it's double expo, um, you know, and yeah, sure, I mean, we're almost 10 minutes in, you should be on four bases by now. 
Uh, Protoss has got this third reasonably getting towards saturation, but look, isn't actually building anything right now. Well, you know what's going on? Uh, supply blocked, I guess. Yes, we are. Um, so needs to dig himself out of that hole pretty sharpish. Uh, but you know there aren't even any upgrades being researched, and you do have the forge parked right there. Uh, so yeah, building a lot of pylons to get himself out of jail. Um, this just why you know why you, you've got two bases just about to come online as it is uh, you, you don't you know you don't you just don't need this um, just saturate these two and, and win um okay so uh we are still just on a single starport and i noticed this starport has a tech lab uh, and i don't see what's been researched from the tech lab nothing as far as i can tell uh, so, you know, probably uh, better with a reactor. These workers you can transfer, you don't need 15 of it, it doesn't help. So you can get them down here mining for you, uh, and that will really boost your income. But ultimately, Biggles, you need to build more of these, um, or more of these, or more of these. You know, 211 is an opening, and it's absolutely fine. Um, but, you know, when you're on four bases, uh, you, you know, you need a lot more than two on one. Uh, so, uh, drops a couple of scans and sees the setup, sees three robos, so knows what is up. There is a carrier in production, which is just kind of surreal. You know, you've got like, you've done all these upgrades and stuff for a ground force, and then let's just throw in a carrier. Why not? I don't really see the rationale there, but hey. Uh, carriers are expensive, they've got a long build time, and unless you've got large numbers of them, they're not particularly good, and they don't really complement what you've got. Um, more stalkers coming in, uh, and actually what he could do with is some charge zealots to sit out the front of this. At present, uh, I see Red's army um, would just wreck everything on the map. There aren't enough Vikings here to deal with the Colossus. Uh, there's so, so many Immortals, they would just punch everything to death uh, remarkably quickly with the Colossus doing splash to the Marines, it would, it would be pretty grim. Um, yeah, so we're getting towards a good number of Medivacs, but you know, still only on this single starport. I'm feeling the pain. I've forgotten about these two Thors, and actually, uh, they can help. Um, actually, there are three Thors, and three Thors are pretty punchy. Um, but what our Terran player is not doing is, is what Terrans are so good at. It's using those medevacs to just fly stuff in and just, you know, land here and, and gun down workers, pull your opponent out of position and while they're out of position, you know, fly in here and kill some stuff, fly in here and kill some stuff. Actually, here would end badly, but, you know, fly in somewhere. Uh, it looks like Biggles is going for a move out and the army supplies are similar and normally that means bad times for the Terran to be honest uh, unless it's a mech army which it isn't um, so the fact that there's Colossus and stuff in the mix here uh, you know just means that this Protoss army is is just so high-tech compared to Marines uh, that you really need to have it heavily outnumbered Biggles is on 200 supply he is oh no 